Drop the gun! Show me your hands! Welcome to the Weekly Homicide Report, the weekly program where we talk about all the people that needlessly died at the hands of another person. Now let's take a look at this week's graph. Chicago is back, recording 10 homicides last week, their second week in a row with double digits. Philadelphia is doing their best to keep up with Chicago, but they just don't have the population to rack up Chicago-level numbers. They had five this week. New York had three homicides. Aside from one murder in Staten Island, the rest are all from the Bronx, Queens, Brooklyn, or Manhattan so far this year. Houston had eight homicides, and now the fourth largest city is running right behind the largest city in America. New Orleans leapfrogged over Baltimore after registering eight homicides this week. If that city was larger, they'd easily rival Chicago. They're sure trying anyway. Baltimore had seven homicides. 87% of the homicide victims where race was mentioned have been black. Better to be Asian or Hispanic if you live in Baltimore. So far, they've escaped becoming a statistic there. In D.C., they had a bad week, recording 10 homicides. The only city on here in the double digits except Chicago. The murders there are 37% higher now than they were at this time last year. All of these seven cities rank in the top 30 in America by population, except New Orleans, which ranks 52nd. This is why their murder rate is 71. And last week I said I was going to follow Kansas City for a while. They had four murders last week, but are still well behind these other cities listed, and they sit at 23 on the year. So I left them off the graph, but I thought I'd mention it. There were 11 mass shootings last week, and we currently sit at 95 on the year. We've had double-digit mass shootings weeks in six of the nine weeks this year and are well ahead of last year's pace. New Orleans has had four. Chicago, Memphis, and Philly at each have had three. And a number of other cities have had two. One child under the age of 11 and 21 aged 12 to 17 were killed by gunfire this week. Both of these numbers are well below the weekly averages. There were 22 defensive use of a firearm incidents. I covered a few of them. Still waiting for the day that this number is twice that. We lost another police officer in the line of duty. Officer Andres Vasquez Lasso of the Chicago Police Department became the eighth officer killed by gunfire this year and 16th line of duty death overall. I'll do a video on this one once a photo of the 18-year-old thug who killed him is released. Well, that's all I have for you today, but I'll be back next week with the Week 10 numbers. Until then, have a great week, and I'll catch you next week.